There are friends who walk beside you. There are even friends who hold your hand. And then there are some friends who dream your dreams. Marsha Richmond is such a friend. Our dream has become hers as well. She doesn't just support what Chabad does, she does it with us. I have so many memories of Marsha carrying, uh, one of them that sticks out is Marsha carrying a box of Shabbat candle kits home from New York so that she can give them out to everybody she knew. As all of her friends here tonight know, Marsha has a heart of gold and a soul on fire. Please welcome our chief PR officer, <laughs> the official and unofficial spokesperson for all the classes at Chabad, Marsha Richmond. she was that she can't be here tonight to celebrate with us. She was part of the Chabad from the very beginning. And she asked me many, many times to come with her on a Friday night to meet the rabbi in Hana. She would bribe me with Hana's cooking. You have to come, you have to come. But I never did. I was working, I was busy. Ryan was playing baseball. You know, life. In May 2010, my son Douglas came back from birthright with the love of Israel. I wanted to do something to keep that love alive. He had no interest in going to the shul where he was bar mitzvah, so I finally gave in to Lisa, and that Friday night, Douglas and I came. Doug and the rabbi hit it off immediately, as you can imagine. We bought him a pair of tefillin, Doug met with the rabbi to put them on, and I, I was hooked. I had never really realized how spiritually unfulfilled I was. And I never realized how much more meaningful life could be until I became a regular at Chabad. I started studying with Rabbi Denberg every Monday night at Torah and Zip, and now I have to do my commercial for the class because Monday night, 7.30, the most awesome class ever, and come just for the refreshments. You don't even have to like the study, but you will, and you'll come back. Everybody that comes loves it. It's just the best. But besides the Monday night class, there's all the other JLI classes and the lectures. Torrent tea. <laughs> it's amazing how I now see God in my daily life. I recognize the fact that God gave me a special neshama with my own mission in life. And for that, I thank the Rabbi and Hannah so, so much for building such a vibrant community full of love and kindness that has welcomed me, welcomed me as I am, and enriched my life in so many beautiful and wonderful ways. I want to end tonight with a challenge to each of you. And guess what? For once, it's not for money. <laughs> when Lisa asked me to join her at Chabad, I never imagined how much I would spiritually and emotionally gain by coming. I never realized how thankful I would be that she didn't give up on me, and she kept nudging me to broaden my Jewish horizons and my life by coming here. Tonight, think of your friends who have gained so much by attending a program at Chabad and invite them and keep nudging them like Lisa nudged me. It doesn't need to be for praying. The Rabbi and Hannah have so many classes, the culinary club, the book club, the holiday parties, the men's club, the dinners. There's something here for everybody. You may just change their life for the good the way that Lisa changed mine. <laughs> 